God do this to them? God had nothing to do with this. So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti, happened in Portugal. A great earthquake, thousands dead thanks to your damned manuscript. This cannot be. Jay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents. How dare you? You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Machandal sent his man in Haiti. What the he hell is going on? Stop this! The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. Liam is a fool if he thinks I'll leave this be. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another Precursor Temple. I don't care that he's Mentor, or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. Only one thing to do. There's no turning back now. I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles, I have to do this. And what is it you're doing exactly? Stealing from your brothers? Betraying me? Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. The right? We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! <laughs> Assassins! Stop him! Stop Shay!
Have you gone mad? Hey! Hold a moment, Kerr! I have no. now to no. finish this! No. Haven't I taught you anything? That's enough. Give back the manuscript, Shay. I'm sure Achilles. I cannot. I will not let this happen again. All oh, those souls lost. One more hardly matters. Shay! <laughs> Glitch in the memories. There seems to be more data. Okay, Numskull. I can't pull you out of the chair right now. You'll just have to see this through. This is bizarre. These memories seem to take place some 20 years after the one we just saw. Are you certain? Positive. This means... Shay must have survived that fall. If he is the man I believe him to be, then he has. Keep going. The data is fragmented. This memory is incomplete. Let me see what I can do. Listen up. We need to find out what Shay's up to. This memory's gonna look a little rough. But I'm like 90% sure sequencing this memory won't kill you. All right, now, Scott. We don't know where Shay is or what he's doing now. So keep your eyes and ears open. I want to know the reason Shay came to this place. You heard the man. Let's move. Vous l'avez trouvé Ouais, Benjamin Franklin est à Notre-Dame. Si on se maigne, on devrait le rattraper. Arrêtez de vous branler Allons-y Benjamin Franklin. That's who Franklin traveled to England and France. And that guy said not to die. Shame must be in Paris. Time to show me what you got. Eliminate the threat. Protect Franklin. Il est là, à 
ne nous échappera pas cette fois Shit What happened That's all the data we have. We can't explore this memory further. For now. Shay couldn't have died, then appeared in France 20 years later. We're missing something. Shay's memories are scattered in chunks throughout the cloud. The servers are messed up from the virus, so we can't access all of Shay's life at once. You hit a wall, and I'm busy with something. Why do you go meet Otto Berg? You'll find him squatting in one of the offices. I'm bored of this one. What all the orders in my order? Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. to get to the next chunk of Shay's memories? Excellent. I'm gonna need the numbskull back if we're gonna proceed. Your next task is clear. But please reflect on what we have discussed. Hey, I'm by the elevator. Get over here. I got tired of waiting for Melanie's stupid repair crew, so I got this piece of shit working well enough to get you to the lobby and back. I'll get your animus prepped while you're downstairs. I've added the location of the next server on your map. Get going. Shit! I forgot. The server is behind a level one security lock. I have granted you level one security clearance. I trust there will be no further delays. Great! Now you can get into the server room. Once you restore the servers, I'll load the next set of Shay's memories to your animus. And you're in. All points ready. Begin. Go, go, go! Who are you? Don't you touch her! Oh, for God's sake, restrain him! You, give me the child. Oh, shush now. You're all right. Elena! Calm down, Mr. Berg. I promise you I won't hurt your daughter. Who are you? My name is Warren Vidic. I work for Abstergo Industries. You quit the Uti Yaga Regiment and became a freelance mercenary in order to afford better care for Elena's cystic fibrosis. How's that working out for you? Arkele! I have an offer for you. I don't work for people I don't know. It's not that kind of offer. I'm going to remove an item from my pocket. What is that? This little pill? <laughs> it's actually for her. Go on, little one. Have some medicine. Stop! There now. Isn't that better? <laughs> this pill will cure her. It isn't on the market, but it can be yours if you agree to participate in a little training program I put together. What does Abstergo need with someone like me? Oh, you won't be working for Abstergo. However, if you perform, Abstergo could work for you. I want one thing before I agree. 
Name it. That one there. He upset my daughter. I understand. Gentlemen, release Mr. Berg. Jenkins, give him your gun. What? Now. Yes, sir. Satisfied? It's a start. Data we have is pretty raw, but it's enough to move forward. Get back up here, double time. It looks like restoring servers also clears the virus from some of the other systems. You are making excellent progress. I am eager to see what Shay will show us next. Level 1 clearance will also let you into some of the other parts of the building as well, if you need to stretch your legs in between animus sessions. If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. to see you're feeling better thank you uh, mr finnegan was it sweet mother mary have we taken in the village idiot barry remember shay i'm cassidy and this is barry <laughs> you've been ill for weeks i hate to have been a burden see he's a civilized fella i for a clumsy deckhand probably fell off his ship half drunk Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? <sighs> you wretch, how dare you! Shut up, woman! Leave her alone. Now, what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. In the younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, the usual. 
They feel their old money because they're not Harman citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentleman? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. And the manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. Thank you. 
really think we can catch you? <laughs> Difficult for yourselves. Don't make this difficult for yourself. Don't make this difficult for yourselves. Don't make this difficult for yourselves. Don't make this difficult for yourselves. Will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. 
You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. Oh, so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. Mere survival is not enough. Full bellies, warm clothing. Freedom from want is the greatest freedom of all. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. I do not govern, Master Cormac. I merely assist. See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I've arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. Thank <laughs> you. 